Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario RPG. And now we've defeated another boss, let's go ahead and check this note on this tree over here. To Mario. Knowing you, it must have been a breeze knocking down Yarid, eh? By the way, my pirates say they saw a huge axe flying across the sky. It's probably one of Smithy's nasty friends. Go get him, pal. Well, my gills are failing me on me, so I'll be heading back down. Drop in whenever you have time, okay? Your true mate, Jonathan Johnny Jones. And there's also a key here on the ground, so let's grab that. Got the shed key. Uh, but let's head back into Seaside Town, which is now full of color, apparently. <laughs> it's been restored to its former glory, except uh, also we need to open up the shed here with the key that we got. And here's everyone. Phew, thanks so much. I've had enough of cramps, dirty old place, dirty old places like this. Hey fella, you got us out of a bind. Peace, brother. It was mighty unpleasant in here. Thanks for helping us out. Thank you. Yeah, thanks a lot. Be sure to stop by. Yeah, stop by on, on by. Okay, Timmy and Tommy clones. Thank you for freeing us. I've got to get back to work now, but stop by the inn. See you there. Ah, Mario, thank you for saving our little town of Seaside. Uh, sorry for all those uh, times I said no to the toads, even though I had to say yes eventually. It's fine. Being the most important person in the village, it was inevitable that I would be tortured. Ah, so it's okay then. Are you immune to t tickle tortures, Mario? Oh yes, this is for you. Please take it. I wonder if he doesn't say that if you... Hmm. I feel like if I said yes immediately, he would have been more generous, possibly. It... it, it it's fine. <laughs> uh, anyway. Let's, uh, go check out the town now. Since everything is opened up and is actually normal shops now. Uh, this is interesting. Beetle bug, price list. Male, 50 coins. Female, 1 coin. Golden beetle... One frog coin. Interesting. Well, I don't think I'm going to look at this just yet, but this is a place where we can buy... Uh, welcome to Beetle's R. We run a beetle, a beetle business here. Want an explanation? Um, no. Please come again. Well, we can actually do some stuff with that later, but for now I think I'm good. You can do that though to get some frog coins, so... Welcome to my weapon shop. So here we can actually buy pretty much everything we've ever seen in terms of weapons, so... Ah, uh, but I don't think we need any of these. So basically, it sells stuff, uh, weapons that we've already had throughout the entire game so far, I'm pretty sure. Well, I don't know if there's anything specifically new. Uh, hang on. Try and look around. No, I don't think so. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I'm... Of course, it's the one at the top of the list. Trooper Shell, Parasol, uh, Double Punch, uh, right, I, <laughs> and no, I'm just crazy. I don't know which ones are new, which is sad, but I might, I should have kept a hold of them. I'm assuming the expensive ones are the new ones. A Lucky Hammer, which is just, just regular hammer, I guess. I think this is what we had originally as our weapon. I really... Really should have kept track. Uh, but I think these ones are at least new. I don't know about the other ones, though. I should just buy one of each. I mean, I shouldn't, though, because we're not going to have enough space for them. Except I've already been selling armor, so I'm just going to buy all these. I really should have been paying attention to stuff. It's fine. Uh, but anyway, we can also sell the Happy Gear, probably. So I'm going to do that. And the Poker Dress. Uh, but I think that's probably good. Now let me check my my equipment now. That one's down. Knock knock shell, I'm pretty sure- No, that is worse. Okay. Punch glove. Finger shot. Symbol shot. Hang on. Parasol maybe- No, pa parasol is a new weapon for Peach. So that's, that's one thing that's new. It's fine. Uh, double punch. Who was that even f for? Hang on. Double punch is for Gino as a new weapon. Interesting. Uh, ribbit stick is also better. So the stuff that 
Uh, other than, every, yeah, the stuff that I said before and the rubbit stick on you, I think. Uh, pretty sure? Yes, I'm pretty sure that's all the new stuff. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, anyway, that should be everything there for now. We can also go to the shop over here. Please come in and browse. I'm running an armor shop. And this is where we can buy all of the armor that we've had throughout the game so far. But of course, I've sol sold it all, so we don't need any of this. We can also buy the sailor gear here, so we, but we still don't need that, so... Anyway, <laughs> now that all this chaos is over, let's uh, go to this side of the town. Health food store. Hi, Mario. We've got lots of health foods at our store. You gotta treat your body right. So you can buy all the mushroom things, except for Max Mushroom, apparently. Also, well, that reminds me, there was a... There was some items in that cave that I didn't get at the sea. I kind of want to go back and check that, but I don't know how to actually do it, so... Hey, hey, hey! I'm the Mushroom Boy. Do you know that hidden amongst the regular mushrooms are some special ones? Unreal, huh? I'll give you items in return for those special mushrooms. But you've got to taste them to find out what they are, what kind they are. So I'll just take a nibble first. I'm hoping for special, a special mushroom, but even if it isn't, at least I'll get a meal out of it. You have any mushrooms? Yes, I do. Hey, far out, munch, munch, munch. This was just a regular mushroom. Thanks for the snack. So I believe there are some mushrooms that actually do better or worse for some reason. And you don't really know which ones they are, but I... It's not that important to know about it. Uh, but anyway... Oh, hello there! You were so brave to rescue us, and I'm th so thankful. But listen, maybe it's time you thought a little more about what you, are uh, wear. Accessorizing is big business these days. See anything you like here? We can buy all the... Uh, accessories that we've seen so far here. Pretty sure, at least most of them. Uh, none of the special ones, but... I mean, they're there if we need extra ones, but still. Anyway. And if we haven't had any of them, of those ones so far, we can get them now. Uh, also now, I think I also want to go... to the house up here. Hello. Mario, if it's a star that you're looking for, I may be able to help you. At the far side of Land's End is a town made up of reformed monsters. A mouse came by the other day, and I overheard him boasting about a star of theirs. I don't know exactly where this is. This town is located, but if you follow the road, you'll get there. Interesting. Also, how many frog coins do I have? 31. I need a lot more than that. It's fine. Uh, but anyway, I think that is everything in town that we need to worry about. And by worry about, I mean look at. So, can we just save again? <laughs> now that we have a lot more stars than we had before. And let's go. I also want to check the sea, though, is the other thing. And I'm not sure about this, so I might have to cut around, possibly. Because we get into this room, we can see the stuff back there, but I don't know how to access that. I mean, that we can't use that block there as a platform. So it feels like somewhere in here, or something, there's a way up, or something, or over, across, I don't know. You know what I mean, though. It feels like there's a, there's a way to get to that, and I'm not sure if it's in this cave or if it's next to it, or something. This room seems interesting. There it is. We can go back this way, and we can get these blocks back here. Get a mushroom. And a flower. And a frog coin. So that's well worth getting. It's just very well hidden. Uh, and I don't think there's any hidden blocks up here either. To worry about. And if there is, then I'm going to be very disappointed in myself because I should have known about that. But it's not on my notes, so I, it's fine. But yeah, there's a frog coin and a flower back there, so it's well worth getting. Anyway, moving on. Let's get out of here. And I guess we should go to Land's End now, which is the next area. Now this place is a little bit interesting, to say the least. So we have this cannon here, and we need to time the button press 
Which is a little bit t interesting because you have to kind of press it a second in before it even dings the first time to get it, but yeah. Also, I believe... I might just be crazy. Yeah, sometimes you get a really good shot on it and sometimes you don't. It's really weird. But it's also very easy to go too short on the shot. Anyway, we've also got these enemies that we have to fight now. Enemies here can inflict poison and mute fear and sleep. And Scarecrow. Literally all the things, basically. <laughs> Not quite all of them, but you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, got Parasol now for Peach to use. Also have Mario still using the same weapons before. I don't know which weapon. I, it's fine. Uh, Mallow, just attack. With the froggy stick. Sleep sauce? Well, that's not good. Except I think Mario might have the immunity for it, possibly. Okay. Uh, I probably should have used Mallow, like, made him use th uh, the thunder to hit multiple enemies. But I didn't do that, and now I'm regretting it. I'll use Shocker, though. Like that. Nope, that does nothing. Cool. Thunder. Come on. This guy has a lot of health. Gunk Ball. Come on, Mario, I believe in you. There we go. Okay. So now that's done, we're gonna go over here and jump, because that reveals a platform up there. And if we can time a shot out of this cannon, which is easier said than done, we can get up here and get this box which has a frog coin in it. And I didn't mean to fall like that, that's a shame. Let me go back up again and go over here, because I believe right here is a Kera Kera Cola. Easy to miss and good to grab, so... There we go. Also, I don't know who to use in my group at the moment, so I'm going to just stick out with this for now. Uh, if we go right up to the edge here, I believe... Maybe... Somewhere? Oh, yeah, if we jump over to the edge... Mario reacts to it, which is cool. <laughs> I like that little animation to show that you're close to an edge. Uh, also, there's a lot of enemies here that I'm going to try and avoid, but I'm probably not going to be able to. Also, some enemies here can get confused and hurt others, which I believe is the Gekket that can get confused, so... They can just attack their allies. That's a big spider. Enemy thing, I don't know. I think it's a spider. Nice. Uh, I might need to therapy Peach because she was low on health. Which is fairly normal, but still. Caution, confused monster. And attacks itself. It just took itself out. It's fine. Well, there we go. We won the fight because one of them took themselves out. Okay, Peach gets a level up to level 13. We can And learns comeback. Which is a special move to revive a teammate. So it's basically a get-me-up, but as a special move for Peach. And I believe we get to increase her health, which is good because she's not quite high enough as I'd like yet, so. Getting closer to 100, though. I feel like I might have missed something. No, I haven't. Good. I do want to save, though, so let's do that. Since we made it further into Land's End. Uh, and let's go over this way because over here, if we jump between these two flowers, is a hidden block with a frog coin in it. You just need to jump from one flower to the other and you should hit it, so. Uh, but now, let me hit you, since we're in another fight. It's been a little bit since we've seen this background. Okay, not quite enough. Thunderbolt. Okay, those flowers are immune to that. Scarecrow dust. Who's getting it? It's Mario, okay. That's... Nope, Mario's immune to it, apparently. I don't know what just happened. Mario should have been affected by that, but I guess not. Not this time, at least. Okay. Just keep hitting them. I don't think Mallow's special is going to do anything against this flower, so I'm just going to hit it normally. Just 
like that. There we go. And we also got some able juice from that. Ah, uh, but anyway, now that we've got that frog coin, we just want to go this way. And I don't think there's anything hidden here. Uh, but I do want to go up into this cave here, which we can see, which has some smoke coming out of it. So let's go in. And let's take a look around here. There are some enemies here that we can dodge, but we're probably going to end up fighting them. Like we normally do. Uh, let me take out the other stuff here. I could also use sleepy time to put an enemy to sleep, but I don't think that's a great idea at the moment. So I'm just going to attack normally. Pollen nap on Mallow. That's not great if you can fall asleep, which you d can. Oh, confused monster as well. <laughs> they can't do much damage, but they can do a little bit, so. Okay, Mallow's drowsy. Um, I don't know what would be an effective move here, so I'm just going to attack. 88. Attack up. Wonderful. Drain. Does nothing. And Peach's turn. Let me attack one of these things. That's probably not the greatest move because they could attack themselves and attack other enemies, but still. Peach needs to do something, probably. I'm also going to take out this fly guy. I think that's what that's called. No, that's Shy Guy. No, Shy Away. I'm so close every single time, and it's not It's just not working. Uh, but anyway, let me take you out if I can. Gorshin, Confused Monster. There goes that one. I don't think we get the XP or the money from the enemies taking themselves out, unfortunately. So it probably is actually a better idea to take out those lizard things straight away. Get another able, ju able juice. Let's keep going deeper into here. Let me grab that frog coin. Very nice. Just don't, gonna dodge things as best as I can here. It's also this thing here. And I believe right where this guy's enemy is standing is also an invisible block with a frog coin in it. So it's good to grab that as well. Very nice. We hit you as again with Mario. Very, very good. Also, this ant enemy is interesting. Let me see if Shocker is good against it, maybe? Since it's wearing armor. But that's just me logicking things that aren't actually logic. Oh, he's also using Vigor Up, which means it can power itself up. Kinda kiss. Ouch. Ooh, ouch. Come back, Mallow, I believe. And just like that, we can revive a teammate with Peach. Ah, uh, so let me take you out now. Maybe? Almost? There we go. Kind of Kiss is a strong, just, just a strong attack. Uh, but anyway now, I think that's everything in this cave. So let's go this way. And get to the end of the cave. It's another one of those... Shy ways. Uh, there's also this barrel here. Make sure you knock down the barrel because if you don't, you don't get the shortcut. Also, this block is already collected because we've been here before. Because right back at near the beginning of the game, when we came to the sewers, we cheated our way up here to get that item. We can also get this cricket gem here, which we could have done earlier, but it makes more sense now in my notes. So, I mean, I mean, there's a reason to come back. So, uh, but anyway gonna save now. I'm also gonna get lost, apparently. Oh, this is an exit. Good. Good, good. This is, uh, this is what I wanted, because I want to go back to Tadpole Pond. We could have done this as soon as we finished up in Seaside. Uh, but also, because we came back through the cave, we have a thing, the Cricket Jam, which is one of Frog Fuchsia's favorite snacks, I believe. Eh? That delicious smell! You have some Cricket Jam, yes? May I have some? Sure. Mmm, this is wonderful. Thank you, Mario. You've made an old man happy. Here's a little allowance for being so good to me. And we get frog coins. He gives us ten frog coins for getting that cricket jam. My wish has come true. So how many frog coins do we have now? 
46, just because he gave us 10. Oh my goodness. If there was a way to item dupe that, that would have been amazing. Just get infinite frog coins. Oh yes, that would be the greatest way to grind frog coins if that was actually possible. But it isn't, so let's talk to this tadpole here. Can't wait to graduate from music school and start composing. I don't think it's going to give us a hint. Because I'm pretty sure we can do this now. Actually, maybe we can't. No, I'm crazy. That's something later, never mind. I, I thought that was something I could do now, but maybe... Maybe I can, I'm just crazy. But... It's fine. Anyway. I'll come back to it when it's in my notes, so... When it's actually it's probably it's more likely to be there when my notes have it. So back to lands and we need to get back to that bit that we're up to, so just need to do a bit of walking. And dodging enemies if I can manage that. Easier said than done, but I'm getting better at that apparently. Just a little bit better, not perfect though. <laughs> uh we could also I think just run from these fights, but also I, I, I feel like I'm slightly underleveled. Just slightly. I've been doing fairly well recently, but I think I've been skipping a lot more enemies than I should be. Okay, you're drowsy. Let me take you out. Just like that. Poison! It's fine. I've got stuff to immune... I've got immunity to that. Also, Mario is low on health, so I should probably heal if I can. But I wasted Peach's turn. Scarecrow Fangs! And there goes Mello. Ah, uh, good thing though, he can still use his magic. To win the fight. Just like that. Ah, uh, now, how am I going for FP? Halfway. We have a little decent amount of FP now, which is good. Also, those cannons are shooting out the enemies onto this area, so... Ah, uh, Peach, use Group Hug. Caution, Confused Monster. I feel like that's actually just a, a special move that it has. And it just uses that, that's why... I, I, I feel like that's how they did it. And it just puts the text onto the screen. That'd be funny. Because I guess if it was told that it's a healing move, and then it uses it against an enemy, it does damage. Then it would work, I guess, but that's just... I'm trying to explain something that's breaking the fourth wall, it's fine. I just understand the the mechanic of it, I guess. Uh, anyway. Three enemies this time. Sleep source. On Peach. I'm pretty sure Peach is immune there. And Confused Monster. And that's good for us because it means we can take down enemies faster. Once again. Very nice. Always a good thing to get it once again. It's so satisfying to be able to hit an enemy or an, all the enemies several times in a row. Uh, I might use Thunderbolt to hit multiple enemies. Just like that. And Peach, finish it off, please, because you have half, half health. Never mind. Actually, you've got a third <laughs> third health. Scarecrow Fangs. Peach is immune. Uh, just hit him. Mallow still has, um, HP rain, so it could still heal. He's not as good as healing at, at healing as Peach, but... He, st he still has decent healing, so... Mario reaches level 14, which I think means... He learns Ultra Jump, pretty good. Extremely good, actually. Uh, but I believe, if I'm not mistaken... 15... Is... No, 14. 14? 14. Calm down. Is... Is special, so let's do that. And let's keep moving. I'm gonna save again since we've done a fair bit in the last few minutes, I guess. Ah, uh, but now we get to go up some more, so let's do that. Using these flowers that we haven't seen for a while. And getting into some more fights. Fungus Spike. I don't know how immune <laughs> Maru is to that, but he's... He's not getting affected by it, so he must be doing a... Like, he must be have some kind of immunity to it. With his items. Uh, I don't think Thunderbolt's the way to go here. Let me just hit you. 
once again. Let me hit you. It would actually have been wise for me to use the uh, the once again to heal, but I'm, I have Peach anyway, so. Let's do that. And I think Mario can probably finish you off. Just like that. Okay, Malarich is level 14, so let's upgrade his thing. He also learns Snowy, which is a different element. He actually learns a Ice move. Uh, but let's upgrade that. The special. And let's continue up the mountain if I can actually time my button presses. Okay. Welcome to the Sky Bridge. It's a big tourist attraction here. Yahoo! Wanna challenge it? Sure. Okay, I'll need five coins from you. Need an explanation? Sure. You can cross uh, the Sky Bridge in one of three ways. However, if you fall at any time, you'll lose. On the normal course, you'll make it across by just, just by jumping. You'll get five coins for that. On the special course, the blocks will fall if your time, time runs out. You'll get eight coins there. On the expert course, the blocks will fall and the jumps are harder. You'll get a frog coin there. On all the courses, you will get have to jump and avoid the bullet guys. Which course do you want? So... I'm gonna do normal just to show how this works. But I do want to do the other one for frog coins. Yahoo! Good luck to ya. So, we just need to jump onto here and then... Our jump's actually aimed automatically un unless we land on top of a bullet bill. Which means that we'll fall off, but for the most part we just have to jump and it will move us to the next platform for us. In the harder versions of that though, we have to actually aim, so which is, that's a little bit harder. We can also use the bullet bills as platforms, so though. If we fall down, we actually end up in this area with the cave that we saw earlier. But luckily for us, this guy is down here, and if we talk to him, going up, I'll give you a boost. Just jump on top of me. So he, we can just jump on top of him, it'll, it'll take us back up. Uh, but now we have to start again, so we have to pay more coins. Uh, but I want to do the expert course because I want to get frog coins. And the interesting thing about this is we get a frog coin if we get a cross like this. But also, if we talk to him now, Yahoo, you want to double your winnings? Get double the coins if you make it across the same course in one attempt. Be warned, the course is harder and you if you fall, you won't get any coins. You still want to try? So we can gamble our winnings to hopefully double our winnings. It's extremely risky. Extremely risky. I don't know why I'm even attempting this, but I do need more frog coins, so... Yo, you win want to double win winnings? Uh... Won't be one that costs harder. I think it is actually getting harder each time I go do this, so this is probably a bad idea. But if it only gives me one frog coin... Uh, per win, then it's not going to be worth it. Unless I... It's probably just better to do it individ on do it on individual runs. So just just if you need coins, this is probably the best way in the game to actually grind them. Unfortunately, at least in my opinion, it is. There are other ways to grind frog coins, but this is why I think is the easiest. Uh, no, I don't want to do that gamble. Sorry, you guys promised one frog coin. So it's really. I should have just taken it on the second run, it's fine. Ah, uh, but we have 47, so if I can get a little bit more... Also, I don't know if he's gonna be on the ground if I fall from here. So I'm just gonna walk across normally. Like that. Ah, uh, let's challenge it. Five coins. I'm gonna try and get to 50 coins. Also, these blocks fall if we stand on them for too long, so we have to keep jumping. Ah, uh, I fell. I fell. I have fallen. It's fine. Want to challenge it? Sure. Need five coins. I want the expert. I don't need to grind these coins, frog coins, for the items in the frog special frog chop, but also I at least want the one that cuts my FP usage in half. Uh, no, I'm gonna just take my coin, I think. Thank you. Now we just need two more. Uh, let me also check something quickly. 
This is probably a bad move by jumping down like that, but no, he's down there. So that, that's easier to get across if I want to do that. At least getting back it is. Okay, five coins. Five coins for a frog coin is a good trade. I think there are the other ways of grinding frog coins are free, but also coins aren't that valuable anyway, so. Uh, do I want to double? I don't know. I want to check to see if it doubles or triples it on the first correct travel passing whatever I don't know what to call it okay do you, are you gonna give me two or one like or three because no because if you're only doubling it it means that you don't get a really good advantage of it doubling until it actually uh, loops like until you get to after until you've won three times across in a row it's only gonna it's only gonna double once basically so the first two rounds are only gonna give you one coin but after that it's gonna double from there if that makes more sense than what I was saying before but anyway that is it for now so thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next time